While in 2016, President Trump became the duly elected president. When will you admit you lost the election? Kaylee, at, at what point does the president concede the race and allow for a proper transition to the Biden team? So uh, right now there's ongoing litigation. There are, um, what we know, 74 million Americans that voted for this president. That's more votes than any president has gotten in history. Um, it's really extraordinary. And there are very real claims um, out there that the campaign is pursuing, 234 pages of affidavits publicly available in one county alone. Uh, that's Wayne County and two individuals on the canvassing board there that have declined to certify. So these are real claims. These individuals deserve to be heard. Uh, this was a system that had never been tried in American history, mass mail out voting. Uh, it's one that we have identified as being particularly prone to fraud, so do those claims deserve to be pursued. When will you admit you lost the election? You have to be I don't call an activist. I'm not an activist and you have taken questions since October 1st. That's the latest in a series of press secretary lies from a long list of liars starting with this guy. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period, both in person and around the globe. Now the press is pushing back. When are you going to admit you lost? That's CNN contributor Brian Karam. This is Brian Karam. He's the executive editor for Sentinel Newspapers. I don't like bullies. He pushes back on Trump. I think I You think have been elected to serve for four years at least. There's no option other than that. We're I here think to ask you questions. When will you admit you lost the election? And now he pushes back on McEnany because that's what the press is supposed to do. But calling this a press conference is like calling Kanye a candidate. It's nothing but a series of lies and obfuscations. Whenever McEnany gets pushed by the press, she calls on OAN, a news organization that makes Fox look like the DNC. They ask questions like, Kaylee, why are the Democrats baby killers? For the record, no one forces anyone to take this job. But everybody calls me Pickle. I'm nine years old and you're my favorite president. From Sean Spencer to Huckabee Sanders to this butt whistle, you may be lying for the president, but you're still lying. Um, it's really extraordinary and there are very real claims um, out there that the campaign is pursuing. Biden won the election. There's no conspiracy. There's no fraud. That there was a, a plan from a centralized place to execute these various acts of voter fraud. Trump's lawyers can't even say those words in court because they know it's a lie and they would be criminally liable for making that case. No votes were thrown away. No voting machines switch votes. But thousands of votes are gathered and they come in and they're dumped in a location and then all of a sudden you lose elections that you think you're gonna win. Americans just got tired of this band of grifters continued assault on the truth and they voted him out. I don't call an activist. This is Jerry Terhorst. He was a Republican press secretary who resigned after Gerald Ford pardoned Richard Nixon. He had a spine, he had values, he had integrity, and today, he wouldn't have a chance.